Good night. Hey, he's all gone. <laughs> I just got back from an attempt to go out and have a look at the eclipse, but <laughs> truth be told, it's raining too much here in the northern rivers tonight, so that looks as though I'm going to have to enjoy the eclipse from other people's pictures, which, thank goodness to gracious, Marion Comb has already posted two pictures on my Facebook page, Eddie T. Rose, which is the Facebook page I use today. As it turns out, my normal Facebook page, Ross Thatcher, has just been let out of jail today too. How good is that? Right on the day of the eclipse. Um, and I don't really feel that inclined to use that one anymore because far out. For somebody that can get thrown into Facebook jail <laughs> for 30 days without even knowing why. They didn't even say. They just said, I've just broken their rules and guidelines. Again, obviously, you know, as some people do, all it takes is some wanker, some fucking troll, to report you. And the more they report you, the more time you spend in Facebook jail. So, like, what's the freaking point? So, yep, I'm Eddie Rose. Eddie Rose at ymail.com, too. In case you were thinking of chucking, you know, a couple of bucks for what you might spend on a coffee into a uh, PayPal thing just to give me a little bit of support now that I'm unemployed and anyway don't worry about that fuck it forget the money just um, have a good one so tonight as I speak it is actually about 11.50 p.m. And the lunar eclipse has well and truly started, as you can see from Marion Combs' posts on my Facebook page at Eddie Rose. Yeah, the the well, this is the thing: is it the shadow of the Earth causing the lunar eclipse? This is what I like to question because I don't think so. In fact, if I knew how to edit videos and put those pictures into this thing yeah video uh, <laughs> shut up I would show the pictures how the lunar eclipse in this instance is coming up from the bottom right and working its way up that way last time I watched one it did the exact opposite. It came down from the upper left and worked its way across that way. Now, you know, I've got a pretty good bead on the heliocentric model and how it works. This is pretty much how I've lived my life. You know, I'm, I'm an out there type of dude. I don't hang around in groups, generally speaking. And even if I do, at the end of the day, I'm out there just looking at the stars by myself, looking at the sun, looking at the moon, looking at the tides, talking to the fish, doing what I do. I just don't play by the general rule book. So I'm a little bit out there to start with. So when it comes to a lunar eclipse, of course, well, I think I've got a pretty good beat on it. So naturally enough, if I feel that the earth that we're on is spinning towards the east, as the sun is setting behind us due to this actual rotation, even though, even though the actual rotation doesn't really make sense because the south is over there, and we're supposed to be on a 
actual rotation, not a east-west rotation. I'm not even going to worry about that. Let's just assume that the sun rising in the east and setting in the west is caused by this actual, not very actual, axial, with X, rotation. And the moon appears to be rising because of this same axial rotation in the east as well. And so when we have an eclipse, it's because the Earth is directly coming into the light of the sun to block it to the moon. Seems reasonably bloody simple, you would think. But why the hell then did, when I saw one years and years ago, did the shadow actually come from the top right? left so and come down across it that way when it's the sun behind us and the moon in front of us and the earth in between you know I, I could sort of see maybe if the speeds are going a certain bloody way then okay maybe the shadow could come from the top down you would think logically it'd just come from the bottom up that seems the most logical thing to me. But to come from an angle, and tonight, the only pictures I've seen so far, two of them, thank you Marion very much. <laughs> Great pictures too, by the way, you've got an awesome camera. It's doing the opposite. <laughs> it's coming from the bottom right, moving that way, going up across the moon. Now. I don't know about you. You probably believe everything that you're told by the top boffins and scientists and... I'd like to see how they're going to explain how the shadow of the Earth is coming from an angle. Either direction. Either way. How can that possibly be possible? if an eclipse is caused by the shadow of the earth coming in between the sun and moon it should be perfectly top to bottom bottom to top and tonight is apparently this what they call a one in a hundred and fifty year event for us here in australia apparently you uh northern hemispherians it's a once in a one uh, 1,000 year event, I don't know, but because it's a, well they call it a blue moon, and technically, tonight is still, I don't know, I'll have to check, oh, I might be within a few minutes here, but it's still the um, 31st of January, any moment now, it's probably going to be the 1st of um, February, so. There goes the blue moon, because the blue moon means basically two full moons in the same month. And technically, yeah, I'm right up under this technical stuff. Um, our full moon doesn't occur until about 1.27 a.m. in the morning, which means it's going to be tomorrow. So it's not technically a full moon in the month of January, it's the 1st of February. Hard to pronounce these words, it's a bit like saying Wednesday. <laughs> you know, if you can't pronounce the words, well, I expect this to fizz over, so. Got lucky. Wednesday, February, and the full moon being, I mean, I, I, I have to admit, I am a moon fanatic, which makes me a lunatic, <laughs> so, hence why 
a lot of my old um, videos I've just posted flat earth lunatic because a lunatic isn't actually a um, a word to describe a crazy person so it just describes a, a moon fanatic so I'm not actually as crazy as I appear <laughs> or sound no 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 I am um, I'm right into this lunacy this thing about the moon so where I'm going with this I've got no idea because this is just a ad hoc rant about the moon um I think the biggest question we need to ask ourselves is what is the moon and I don't think most people will even ask that they don't stop to think what is the moon they just take it for granted it's there it's a natural planetoid type thing and it proves that because it's a uh, spherical thing therefore we're on a spinning sphere and everything else around us is a spinning sphere and they don't really think too much more about it I'm like okay well bloody hell bloody hell if, if it's that simple to decide what you're living on based on the moon now I had a pretty good conversation with the guy with a fairly open mind today I mean I didn't even come close to to convincing him that we live on a flat earth but I made some pretty good arguments and of course the first one is you don't look at the billiard balls on a billiard table and say that because they're spherical therefore the table's spherical and that sort of hit a bit of home truth with him <laughs> he could see that and they hit a few other home truths with him that yeah, you know, just because you see the moon as a sphere, which I do, yeah, you know, I fully, I don't believe the moon is flat, nor do I think the sun is flat. But it doesn't mean that that determines what I think the ground I live upon, what shape it might be. Yeah, you know, I. I Obviously, it's not flat. You know, it's bumpy and lumpy and curvaceous and mountainous and tilious and all that sort of shit. But sea level, as far as I'm concerned, all around the world is sea level, which makes the plane we are upon as good as flat give or take mountains and elevation and all that sort of stuff so hmm the moon tonight this is going to be one of these things which we're going to argue backwards and forwards for a long time the lunar eclipse unfortunately where I am tonight it's just raining that's why my shirt is still it's actually not soaking. My body heat has um, evaporated a little bit. But I'm still damp all over, okay? I go outside. The humidity is what you call 99% in the fact that it's bloody raining. It's not pleasant to be out in. But it's not unpleasant. You know, I, I put a cap on kept my glasses dry not so bad but I was like I could just walk and walk and walk all night and what's the point because I'm not going to get anywhere where I can see anything because it's all just cloud covered and raining so this is what we sometimes 
suffer here in the northern rivers of New South Wales. So, take it how it comes. This is how it is. I'm going to miss a once in a 150 year event because of the weather. And to be honest, yeah, you know, I, I can't actually say, like, I'm pretty good at having a good look around at it all. I can't say that I can blame it on chemtrails. I mean, obviously I can because they've been doing it for the last 20 fucking years, but I can't say that I saw any deliberate, noticeable chemtrails in the last 24 hours. So, <laughs> you know, I know, you know, you know, we know, everybody knows. Bloody hell. I should not have even bothered moving that. But I did. We all know. It's all comes down to chemtrails is controlling our weather. They've been doing it for so long. Since the 60s. 60s, early 70s. You name it. Ugh. There's my glasses. Now I can see again. Ha! Oh, fuck. Ooh. Can't get a haircut, dude. Um, I'm just going to take them off. <laughs> so tonight, I'm a little bit... Probably of the leaning towards the side that... Why we here did not get to see the lunar eclipse is weather control but I'm not a paranoid conspiracy theorist I'm saying they've done it deliberately because they're blocking something I just figure well they're just blocking it because they can because they're cunts and they don't want us out there just looking at natural phenomena and trying to figure it out for itself because I've been trying to figure this one out for a long time the lunar eclipse and I fully believe in fact go and have a look at the the echo Byron Shire echo dot com dot hey fucking nail are ya um, just go and look at it and they've got an article about this very thing today and I was sitting in my my mate's car, you know, this old 80 dude, 80 year old dude's car as he's uh, happily obliged to pick me up to take me in and I went and had a game of bowls today. I won't tell you how well I did. I did pretty well. <laughs> we won by 33 points. Um, but anyway, as we're sitting in there, I just opened up an article from the Echo, and it was about the um, eclipse tonight. And so I quickly typed in a short response, and hopefully it went through. But I said, interestingly enough, there are a lot of people today who actually believe the Earth is flat and stationary, and that the cause of the eclipse is not the shadow of the Earth at all, but it's from this invisible celestial body which we call Rahu, the black sun. And it was a stinking hot day at the time when I sent that. And then by the time I got home, it starts to rain. Mm. Could be a coincidence, but they've been doing their weather experiments here in this whole Byron region for like 20 odd years or more. And I've been one of the most outspoken um, proponents of what's going on with the chemtrails and all sorts of stuff. 
and they did just take my license off me not that long ago so I guess maybe they're feeling a little bit threatened by me, innocent me, <laughs> who's hurt nobody, who has no connections, I deal no drugs, I take no drugs, I make my own homebrew, <laughs> maybe, maybe just maybe. They're blocking this lunar eclipse from us because they can. because they can just imagine what else they can do when last year we had a massive flood down in Lismore I mean that's the place that copped it the worst yeah no I shouldn't go into that But maybe, just maybe, it had something to do with the fact that that's not going to that. <laughs> Let's just leave sleeping dogs lie. But I did nearly call another one upon them just the other day. And, um, I feel a little bit bad about that. It's not their fault. And I shouldn't punish them. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm speaking... Um, stupid. I'm drunk. Don't worry about it. Let's talk about uh, the eclipse tonight. The eclipse tonight. How old? I mean, I don't really see the point of actually necessarily having to go out and see it to know that it's happening. And it's happening right now, which may account for my craziness. Yeah, let's, let's put it down to that. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, you can feel it out. I, I can feel it. I can feel it. It's happening. It's all out there right now there's this full moon but there's something blocking it and I can't see it from here at all because we're covered in rain clouds and if I step outside it's just going to be raining so but I can feel I'm a bit of a <laughs> yeah we all know that psychopath, but I'm also a bit of a psychic type of person. I can feel the vibe. <laughs> Hence I got the beard going. I can feel the vibe and there is something going on. Kinda wish I could shut up that thing but I leave it going 24-7 because it's just pulling water out of the air pumping it into one of my fish tanks so I can pump water out of that tank without having to fill them up <sighs> anyway I think I'm going to wrap this up because I don't really have a lot else left to say. The lunar eclipse, as far as I am concerned, is caused by the third celestial body in the sky, which we call the Black Sun Rahu. And I don't believe Rahu is alone. I think there's like a whole train of them like a as they call it a dragon body 
and so that might be one after the other but as far as I'm concerned there's at least the one and it is the cause of coming in between the sun and the moon to cause the eclipse I can't prove it I would have loved to have gone out there tonight to have another look just to feel the vibe and see what's really going on but with the weather here it's um yeah making me soaked and uh just can't get out there and see it and feel it for myself but from here even inside I can guarantee you it is not the shadow of the earth coming across the moon it's impossible because the sun and the moon both rotate above us as celestials and there are other celestials and one of them is coming between the sun and the moon to eclipse the moon there's no other explanation this earth is not moving no I just put my spider senses out there just then just to double check it's not moving it hasn't moved it doesn't move and it never will move and if it does you feel the earth shake have a good um, 1st of February every day is Christmas I'll make sure of that See ya.